Are you ready? We're ready. Are you ready? Yay! Yo, good morning. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This is Levi. Not to be confused, when I walked in Richards when I was 14 years old, and I wore white Levi's all the time. And I went in the men's department, and I said, I need some Levi's. She said, well, ma'am, the ladies' department's upstairs. I said, no, no, no. Guys' Levi's fit better than girls' Levi's <laughs> there you do. Go. There you so go. I loved it. Levi and Luke yes, and Dad, Robbie Hopkins, and I am so beyond excited because these are, these young men you're going to be seeing a lot of. From American Idol, we're going to do Idol, so. we're going to do Voice. What else are we going to do? Whatever. Whatever they throw at Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> and Dad, who has been writing and performing, and you just did a sold-out concert in Nashville. Yeah, the Bluebird Cafe. Absolutely. Had a good time. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. What's What's writing doing for you? Uh, you know what? Writing has, uh, it, it's a great uh, avenue to just put your, I guess, like uh, all your stories and all the <laughs> things that you want to, <laughs> truth and lies. You know, you can right. write it all. You know, when right. you're writing, it's creative. Right. It doesn't have to be uh, all true. It doesn't have to all be true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, it's just a, it's a great thing. And, you know, we've been fortunate, had some cuts on uh, a couple of cool guys out of Nashville. And some, mm -hmm. uh, so Tony Justice, he's a truck driver. A lot of people know Tony. Uh, He's got a, a great following with the trucker industry, mm -hmm. and not just truckers. Aaron but I mean, Tippin loves doing music for the truckers. He loves it. He loves, loves it. it. We're yes. actually got a, I don't know if you want to tell that now, yes. but we have yes. a big show coming up uh, called Large Cars and Guitars mm -hmm. Festival with uh, uh, William Michael Morgan. So I'll be opening for William Michael Morgan on that Friday night, and then Saturday, uh, Aaron Tippin, I think, is going to be there for the show. It's Exciting. going to be a great show. He is such a good guy. And that's he one is. of the things about entertainers. I'm going to tell you and you, you know, you could grow up and be no show George, or you could be Hank Jr. intoxicated, or you could just be straight as an that's arrow right. and make that's your right. mama proud of that's you. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. So many entertainers, we're, we're looking at we lost Elvis early, we lost, lost Prince early, we lost Michael Jackson. We lost people because they chose a lifestyle. I know that took them away from their amazing talent and took them into a dark spot. Keith Whitley. Mm. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. Oh so my gosh. Many. So yeah. Many. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So y'all gonna keep it straight straight as an arrow, right? Yes, I saw your mama and I know your mama well and your mama's <laughs> gonna make you keep it straight as an arrow. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Now let's give a little shout out to Miss Donna because without her, you could never have accomplished what you've done. No way. I tell you, mm -hmm. she has mm -hmm. been more than a key, more than uh, just a, a main component of our, my whole career and, and life and ours. But uh, I tell you, she has never missed a show from a TV interview to a radio show. Never, never, not one show ever. It. Not a yeah. songwriter's nothing. She's yeah. made every event. And and you need that support because a lot of marriages break up because she excels or oh, yeah. he excels and the other one feels left out oh, and yeah. that's so hard you that's can't right. do that because right. she is the key that's part right to this. and i yeah. wouldn't have it any other way we no. want her there we we don't want to do it without her you know mm -hmm. this is just as much uh donna i call her little miss blue eyes yes so yes. it's just as much her <laughs> as so it adorable. is us yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah well if you're sitting up all night long writing and you get to this one point you're like oh I can't figure out that last line. Do you ever go to her and say, Donna? Absolutely. Yeah, how Absolutely. would you do this? Yeah. So, I've, it, actually, it's funny you brought that up. There's a song that I wrote called uh, Girl Like You, mm -hmm. and I needed a, a line. I said, there's a word for the, the look that I'm trying to find, but I can't think of it. She said, poker face. Oh, I love and it. And I wrote down poker <laughs> face in that song, and so that's, uh, she always says, I, I helped him write one song, one song only, I helped him write. I but she's it. helped me a lot more than that, but that's a, that's yeah. a cool song. Yeah. Well, I, you know, to me, the words are so important of the song, but then like Credence, do y'all like Credence? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. yeah. When I'm cleaning house, I turn Credence up really, really oh, yeah. loud. Cause there's just something about that rhythm, that music that, you know, and I like Green River. Right. That is a house cleaning song. That's right. So you want a song that's snappy and makes you feel good, makes, makes you, you feel positive. Right. Yeah. Right. But then you also want that song, you wrote one about grandpa. Mm -hmm. years and years ago yeah yeah and those are those thoughtful that oh yeah i need to hear that song i right. need to be reminded of my right. past I need to be, to be reminded of somebody who really meant so much to me right yeah you know uh i wrote that song thinking you know trying to be uh clever and was thinking that every year at father's day somebody might request that song but it's actually it's it's become more than that more people relate to that 
you know, their grandpa worked a full-time mm -hmm. job to mm -hmm. make, you know, not just for his own kids, but for his grandchildren mm -hmm. too. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we love grandpa and we, uh, we've had a lot of success over the years through some of those songs. I wrote a song called Baby on the Way, never recorded that song, plan right. on it, but just never have. And, and you so had many, two babies on I the know, way. I know, I know, I <laughs> know. These two came at one time, not yeah, with oops yeah, one, oops yeah, two. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the day in the at the hospital at the doctor's office when she went in for her check. The girl was uh, doing the ultrasound. the ultrasound, and she said, "Oh my goodness!" And everybody, me and Donna both were like, "What's wrong?" I thought maybe something's wrong. She mm. said, "Hang on, let me make sure there's only two. And I went, "Oh my goodness, <laughs> Lord, Lord!" So we were fortunate when we uh, when we came up with the boys right here. The Lord really blessed us. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Now, guys, who taught you to play the guitar? Did you just watch or did Dad actually give um, you lessons? Dad helped a lot, and then we just started, I don't know, I don't really know. He just taught us, like, chords, and then we just started learning songs on our own. Mm -hmm. yeah. And is your favorite singing or writing? Probably singing right now, mm -hmm. but I have a few songs that I've started writing. I just, I'll start one, and then I'll get an idea for another one, so I'll yeah. start on yeah. it, yeah. and then yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't finished. <laughs> but. You have to finish what you start. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, would y'all really um, like to make a career in music? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Even after seeing how hard your daddy's worked and the hours mm -hmm. he keeps, you still want to do it. Awesome. That is awesome. Well, where are you going to be per performing that local people can see you? Anywhere in Georgia? Yeah, we've got a, I've got some stuff. So I'm trying to highlight the boys as much as we can. We have a date coming up. I think it's March, March 24th. March 24th at mm -hmm. the Groovy Gourmet mm -hmm. in Chickamauga. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, something coming up this Friday at Forker's Barbecue in Chattanooga. All this is on my website, mm -hmm. RobbieHopkins.com. Okay. And then, uh, let's see, then there's the May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. That'll be May 5th with large cars and guitars with Tony Justice. Mm -hmm. And we and Michael Morgan and Aaron mm -hmm. Tippin, and mm -hmm. I don't even know who else. I mean, yeah. there's a lot That'll of people That'll be awesome. Be there. Now, what yeah. part of Tennessee is it in? That's in, uh, what was it called? Kodak, Tennessee. It's right okay. outside of uh, Pigeon Forge. Oh, okay. Yeah, they say it's only like a 10 minute drive to downtown oh, Pigeon cool. Forge. Cool. I'd never heard of Kodak, Tennessee. Yeah, me It's neither. somewhere between Knoxville and uh, Pigeon Forge. But you can get there from here. But you can get there from here. <laughs> That's right. That's yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, when it comes to writing songs and you finish one and you're like, okay, that's my favorite, then you write a better one. Okay, right. that's my favorite. Out of all the songs you've written today, if you had to say one song that really made Robbie Hopkins, what is it? Oh, I tell you, uh, that's going to be a tough one. One of the most requested songs, and I, and I'll pl I plan to play it today if we get a chance, mm -hmm. is called Charlie. Mm -hmm. And it's a true story about an old man that I knew grew in, growing up. We would, uh, we would walk by Charlie's place so on our way to church, and we just walked by his place, and he, and he lived in a camper, just mm -hmm. an old shack of a hunting camper, you know, and, mm -hmm. and I remember he had, uh, he didn't have steps, he had like old pallets, like shipping pallets, was laid on the ground for a porch, and he had an old truck, and he had an old boat, and, and he was just an old man that, you know, he was, nobody really spent much time with, but we mm -hmm. got to know Charlie walking back and forth to church, going by his house, mm -hmm. and I wrote a song about, he gave me a boat, so I, in those, uh, during our time of knowing Charlie, he always told me he was gonna let me have that old boat. He'd let me have an old John boat they had. And then when he passed away, he actually left that boat to me. Wow. And it became a, a, just a, a story that I always shared. And then one day, uh, Donna, mm -hmm. uh, she said, you ought to write that in a song. And mm -hmm. so I did, and we called the song Charlie. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people love it. A lot mm -hmm. of people, it's a, mm -hmm. it's a storytelling type song. You know, yeah. it's not a current radio song probably. Right. It may right. be, you know, yeah. Yeah. but, uh, uh, it's just a storytelling song and everybody likes Charlie, so. All right, let's talk about current music today. I don't like it. Don't like it. I'm an old lady and I don't like it. I like the old stuff. I like the stuff that touches your heart. Right. I liked Kitty Wells. I loved Patsy Cline. I loved Loretta Lynn. I love Hank Sr. I loved some of Hank Jr.'s. Have you right. ever heard the song Eleven Roses? By Hank Jr. Hank Jr. Yeah, yes. yeah, I've heard it. I don't okay. know that one, but I've heard it. I love that song. I've seen him in concert when he did it one time. He went away from that and started doing other stuff. Right. But I like that old stuff. Do y'all right. like the old yes, stuff? Yes, ma'am. I I feel the same way about the new stuff, but like there's like three or four artists now that like I really like mm -hmm. that in the new. Who are so. your favorite? Probably Luke Combs, mm -hmm. Cody Johnson. 
um, Morgan Wallen and maybe Hardy. Mm -hmm. There's probably a couple more I'm just not thinking. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Do you like Chris Stapleton? Oh yeah, I like oh, Chris yeah. Stapleton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's different. He's old country, new country. Yeah, he know? has a really unique voice too. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what's so cool. Yeah, he can wail it out there, you know. Yeah, and it's it's funny because do we not remember where country music came from? It was the stories about the people that yep. you knew. It was the stories about your mama and your daddy. It was mm -hmm. the stories about things that happened. It was yeah. the stories about life. And I was thinking about a song the other day. I heard him uh, watching YouTube, and it was is Hank Thompson wrote The Wild Side of Life. And Gene's, I think it was Gene Shepard had sung with him on a duet. And, and that's the first time I'd even thought about him in years and years and years. Wild Side of Life is one of those old, old songs that I loved as a kid. Right. Somebody ought to remake that song. You right. know, there are some of the old ones that they didn't have the equipment that y'all had. Right. They didn't have the ability YouTube. to bring yeah. out that sound that y'all did. And those songs are lost, but not really, because you guys could do them. Right. Right. So, you know, the old music could come back. One of the things I like about that with the older music, so in the last, and you know, I don't know what it's been, probably 20 years, I'd say. It's probably at least 20 years. Used to, you heard uh, songs like Vern Gosden. Mm -hmm. He was a grown man singing country music. Yes, George awesome Jones man. was a grown man. Yes. Gene Watson, a grown man, an adult singing, you yes, know? Yes. And today's music, the talk best. about. Yeah, yes. but today's music you listen to, and a lot of them are younger artists, mm -hmm. not taking anything away from them. I oh, love yeah. younger yeah, artists yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah. But it has shifted to where it's like the industry almost is really wanting younger artists versus like uh, old people like us. Yeah, Dean Dillon. <laughs> Dean Dillon heard Vern Gosden singing in a bar one time and went to you know uh, somebody at I think I, I think it was Sony who whatever radio mm -hmm. uh, country uh, record label it was and said you got to go listen to this guy. Mm -hmm. So that and he was probably if you look at his pictures I, I can't find a. A picture of Vern Gosden that's young, younger than 40. Yeah, you know, yeah, he looks like yeah. he's 40, 50 years old yeah, when he started. Yeah. So it's never and, too late. <laughs> yeah, and so I'm, but my point is that I like to hear those type songs. So I like Vern Gosden, George Jones, mm -hmm. Keith Whitley. Mm -hmm. You know, John Conley. John Conley. John Conley. Earl oh Thomas my God. Conley. Friday Night yeah. Blues. Have y'all ever heard oh that song? Oh my goodness. Well, yes. That would be so great for y'all to yeah, do. Friday Night Blues is the coolest song. I love it. Women love it. want to hear that song. I we know. want to know that Friday Night we got something going got on. Something it's going to be fun. To. You know? yeah. 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 That'd be a great song for y'all to do. Yeah. yeah. We've had a lot cool. of we've had a lot of opportunities over the years to do shows with some of these guys we're talking about, mm -hmm. and I just love. Mm -hmm. you and know. Gene Watson is just that amazing, amazing sound. You know. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah. he he still sings today mm -hmm. in the same key he as did 25 years as ago he ever too. Did. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, crazy. yeah. Well, you know, I was lucky enough to interview, um, and I don't know if y'all know who this guy is, Percy Sledge. Do you know who Percy Sledge is? They might not know. Um, Percy. Okay, when a man oh, yeah. loves a woman. Have oh, y'all yeah, ever heard yeah, that yeah, song? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I got to interview him, and I said, "Could you please sing that song to me?" Well, I did the interview, and and he stood up and he hugged me, and he said. In 45 years of being interviewed, this is the best interview ever, and it just, I was like wow. cold chills. Well, he died not long after that. He was a severe diabetic. But when you walk into a room and somebody turns on a radio, a stereo, uh, even an eight track with When a Man Loves a Woman, you yeah. know that yeah. song, yeah. you know that song, <laughs> yeah. you yeah. know. And he also did one called Take Time to Know Her, yeah. and he was in the middle of a recording session and somebody knocked on the door and he's like, what are they doing? We're in the middle of a session. Yeah. And, and the guy just kept on and so he said, okay, take a break guys. And he got, comes in, this guy had written this poem. And y'all need to listen to this song, especially if you're learning to deal with women. Yeah. They listen to this song, <laughs> take time to know her. Yeah. But it was one of those, it was a poem that this guy had written about a woman who'd done him wrong. And Percy just took out a little bit of the vulgarity that the guy had put in there and cleaned it up uh -huh. and within 30 minutes recorded it. Wow. And it was one of his biggest hits ever. And it's about life. It's about a guy who got bummed out by a no good woman right. and wrote a poem, you know. Right. And it's as simple as that. Wow. And then it ended up being one of music's greatest songs. Take so, time to know yeah, y'all need to, on the way home, tell Daddy pull up YouTube. We're listen to it. And listen to Take Time to Know Her by Percy Sledge. Oh, but um, I got to interview Charlie Pride, and at 81 years old, wow. think about it, he was performing. He did an hour wow. and a half show. And he's dancing all over the stage. He's 81 years old. Are you kidding me? 
he was as good the day he left here as he was when he first started. Wow. And that's, you know, start young and, and make it as long as you can. Wow, as so as good can. when you're bad. Mm -hmm. Man, Charlie Pride. Yeah, wow. oh yeah, he was so amazing. And sadly, COVID got him. COVID got several of the Nashville stars. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, nothing we can do about COVID. It's, have y'all had it? Have no, I've had it like yeah. two or three times probably. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we had it. But you're good. Early on. We're good. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah this yeah. was We're in good. 2020. Yeah, summer. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I had it and I had the long term effects of oh, it. Yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah, I want to send it back to China. Yeah, we don't want it. We don't want it. <laughs> I don't want Put it in a balloon and send it right over. I don't want it. We're going to take a commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to draw straws and see who goes first. Oh, yeah. Is it going to be Levi, Luke, or Daddy? Yeah. And we don't know because Daddy didn't get to practice. The boys got to uh -oh. practice this all. So <laughs> I may practice we may all throw that. Daddy out there. Here yeah. we go. We'll be back in just a minute. you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says welcome to North Georgia. The leaves are falling and the mountains are calling. Take the back roads and really get to know North Georgia. Combine the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool making a masterpiece or just making memories writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow whatever you do in life farmers is here to protect it for all your insurance needs call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. The family's visit to the forest inspired a beautiful question. Mother, mother, am I a tree? You tell me to stand tall. You tell me to stay rooted. I think I am a tree. My child, my child, of course you are. But what kind of tree will you be? The kind to hug or the kind to climb? Doesn't matter what you choose, so long as you choose to be a tree that's kind. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. song I wrote with my good friend Doug Johnson. Sparkle in a newborn's eyes, little boy's first puppy smile, mama's back door sweet surprise, when you ain't been home in a while. Marshmallows and a backyard fire Dawn breaking to a songbird choir The way you still feel like a child Beneath a July firework sky 
The way the sun comes up in the morning, the way the stars come out at night, the way the blackest dark gets busted by the smallest candlelight. The moon spins round, the earth spins round, the sun against all odds. A few reasons I believe in God. way homemade ice cream taste some memories never fade like grandma's loving face when we sang amazing grace how southbound birds know it's time to fly leaves change color neath the autumn sky spring comes back every time we know it will and we know why the way the sun comes up in the morning the way the stars come out at night, the way the blackest dark gets busted by the smallest candlelight. The moon spins round, the earth spins round, the sun against all odds. A few reasons I believe in God. You've got the right to think I'm wrong, ain't got to listen to this song. As for me, I believe every time I see The way the sun comes up in the morning The way the stars come out at night The way the blackest dark gets busted By the smallest candlelight The moon spins round, the earth spins round The sun against all odds A few reasons I believe in God a few reasons why I know there's a God I believe yeah. Yeah. thank you so here's a song I wrote about a uh, about Charlie. I was talking about it a while ago, so here you go. I was just a boy the first time I met Charlie. He was old and gray and his mind was almost gone. He had a blue Ford truck parked out in the driveway beside a run-down hunting camper that he called home. There was a stack of wooden pallets. Charlie called his front porch, an old John boat tied up to a tree. And Evan Rude Motor, sitting in a barrel of water, he'd pull the rope, then he'd say to me, Someday we'll float down the Conasauga River. We'll catch catfish tied up to willow trees. It takes me to a spot I still remember. Cause that's where he caught the biggest fish in Tennessee. That's the truth between Charlie and me. Well, he talked about his love of a lifetime. Sweet Southern Belle named Jenny Lynn. He lost her when the cancer came a calling. But someday soon they'll walk that river bank again. We'll go floating down the Conasauga River. We'll catch catfish tied up to willow trees. Takes me to a spot I still remember Cause that's where he caught the biggest fish in Tennessee That's the truth between Charlie and me One sunny day I stopped by to visit he was gone, but Charlie left a note On the back of an old crystal's napkin He wrote a bill of sale to me for that old boat The neighbors 
said he left in the night time He wouldn't be back this way again But I believe I'll see him with his sweet, sweet love Hand in hand somewhere just around the bend We'll go floating down the Conestoga River We'll catch catfish tied up to willow trees Takes me to a spot I still remember Cause that's where he caught the biggest fish in Tennessee That's the truth between Charlie and me That's the truth between Charlie and me Charlie. So uh, uh, the song I was talking about earlier that Donna helped me write called uh, Girl Like You. We'll do that one here for you. This old bar's full of cigarette smoke, pickup lines and dirty jokes. Lots of broken promises and tears A long list of dummy wrongs Sad old country songs Watered down whiskey and warm beer So what's a girl like you doing here? I knew the moment that you walked in This is somewhere you never been. It looks like another angel fell from grace. I bet he went and broke your heart. I bet he tore your world apart. And I bet he never thought you'd get away. Until now the future looks so bright and clear. What's a girl like you Haven't I seen you before Standing just outside of the door Trying to get up the nerve to come inside I see the mark on your left hand Where you usually wear that wedding band Guess there's some things a pretty poker face Just can't hide I knew the moment that you walked in This is somewhere you never been. It looks like another angel fell from grace. I bet he went and broke your heart. I bet he tore your world apart. And I bet he never thought you'd get away. Until now the future looks so bright and clear. What's a girl like you From the bar stool to the dance floor, from the parking lot to the motel door, down the hall crying in the mirror. The voices in your head scream loud and clear. What's a girl like you? Baby, what's a girl like you doing? What's a girl like you? Okay, we're going to take a short break and come back in just a minute. Robbie's going to join us, and we're going to decide which one of you boys wants to go first. Do y'all have a... I'll go first. You want to go first? Okay, so Luke's going to be joining us in just a minute as he plays guitar and sings a song or two for you. So there you go.
guess it is not what you take when you leave this world behind you. It's what you leave behind you. That farmer left a harvest, a home in 80 acres. Faithful love for growing back in his young son's heart. And that teacher left her wisdom in the minds of lots of children. Give them all a better song. That preacher whispered, Can't you see? Same Bible in that There are three wooden crosses on the right side of the highway. Why there's not four of them heaven on the I guess it is not what you take to leave this world behind you. What you leave behind you. Bible to my mom, who read it to me. There are three wooden crosses on the right side of the highway. Why there's not four of them? Now I guess we know. It's not what you take. Stay chance 
fly blue Yeah, I remember you Sure had a heck of a view From way up there High above the yellow pines And first bad was Jesus' safe sign I've talked to you a million times About getting out of here Water Tower It sure is good to see you I've been away for way too long Water Tower Like a lighthouse in the storm You help me find my way back home How far did you think I'd get? When I pointed my wheels at West, little young and dumb, I guess. Gotta learn somehow. Slowing down and driving in, I can finally breathe again. It's like I found a long lost friend. God, I've missed this town. Water Tower, it sure is good to see you. Been away for way too long. Water tower, like a lighthouse in the storm. You help me find my way back home. You and that long full moon watching over me. I'm right where I'm supposed to be. Water Tower, it sure is good to see you. I've been away for way too long. Water Tower, like a lot of house in the storm. You let me find my way back home. You let me find my way. Okay, this is One Number Way by Luke Holmes. Are you sitting at home all alone trying to fall asleep? Are you staring?
truth about a mirror is that a danged old mirror don't really tell the whole truth it don't show us deep inside or read between the lines and is really no reflection of my youth sometimes I feel like Jesse James Still trying to make a name Knowing nothing's gonna change What I am I was a young troubadour When I wrote in on a song And I'll be an old troubadour When I'm gone I was a young troubadour When I wrote in on a song I'll be an old troubadour when I'm gone. You got first verse of me. I got first verse. All right. All right. I brought flowers to your door last night. I done you wrong and I wanna make it right. You say I'm not welcome here. No. Be perfectly clear, but I can't. 
Will it change your mind? Oh, I must have been a fool back then To lose something that you can't have again If I had two dozen roses, would it change your mind? Okay, now let me tell y'all, that was, it was so cool to have them in concert here. We're going to do it again. We're going to figure out how we can work it in their schedule. We're going to bring them to uh, ball ground and bring them in early. What amazing talent, and the greatest thing about this family is they are raising these children by the Word of God, and that is so cool. And you know that with their music, you know that with how they raise their kids, and that is so important in today's world. I'm so proud of Robbie and Donna and, and Levi and Luke. They are absolutely amazing. So we're going to take a short, short break to get them back over here with me for just a minute so we can say goodbye to them. And then we're going to leave today with uh, Welcome to LJ just flying in there so they can hear it because we didn't even welcome them formally to LJ. So here we go. Well, we're back. Do people call y'all the Hopkins twins? Yes, do they? Yeah, they do. <laughs> you <We> know, do. <laughs> do you wish sometimes you just, I'm just Levi and I'm just Luke. <laughs> you know, you're the I'm Hopkins trying to root in on them and call it the Hopkins three, but it's not yeah. working not so working, far. Not working, not working. Well, we have a CD of yours that we're mm -hmm. going to give away. So I'm going to ask a trivia question on Facebook tonight. So y'all pay attention to our Facebook tonight. I hope you paid attention to the program today and you listened and you learned a little bit about Robbie Hopkins and Donna and how they've done what they've done amazingly raising two well-grounded boys who do football, basketball, baseball, baseball music, anything so else? You got time for anything fish. else? Yeah. Hunt and fish. I knew you loved hunting and fish. It, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That is so cool. Well, thank you all for being here today. Thanks and we're going to make this a regular thing. we got to figure out a time in your schedule that y'all can come and be with us. Love so, to do it. Love awesome, to do awesome, it. awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. We're going to leave you now with a little bit of Ella J. Because I should have welcomed you to Ella J. with this very perfect song. Absolutely. And I didn't. So here we go. Welcome to Ella J. How y'all doing out there? Welcome to Ella J. That's with a J. About 90 miles north of Atlanta, where the Kusawati lay. They come out of the hills to pay their telephone bills in a town called Ella J. When the mayor drove a shiny 62 Corvette, Slim was in a cruiser with a Cobra jet. What you see is exactly what you get If you come to L.J. Hey, hey. 